Hi, I'm Stephanie Theodore. This is Theodore Art, and I'd like to welcome you to a video view of our exhibition of Juliet Losk, Darren Norman, and Eric Pronka. All three artists depict nature and aspects of nature, details of it, and the sensations of, of interacting with nature, especially especially in the case of Juliet, whose depictions of nature are set in central London, which is a rather interesting thing. This is a relatively new piece by Juliet from uh, 2000, early 2010. It's called Juncture. And you'll notice that while it's a very foresty, you know, very vivid forestial scene, there's also graffitied bricks indicating that this was once a building site. Uh, the graffiti is just, you know, kind of a degradation of this building site. There's also deta architectural details from old Victorian illustrations that become the ghosts of whatever this was before. So this is not a nature scene per se, it's nature in the middle of civilization. It's kind of a standoff between what was built, what's decaying, and what's taking over. So it's really not clear whether it's nature taking over or it's civilization encroaching. This is a work it's ink on paper called Sentinel from 2009. And her amazing technique, her amazing ability to render an almost photographic exactitude to these works is one of the great appeals of Losk's work. Again, you have a kind of beautiful, untethered, uh, trees and brush and it seems very untouched except for the graffiti. This is probably everyone's favorite piece. Um, I'll tell you why it's my favorite piece. It's for the title. It's called People Are Dogs in Reverse. Don't ask. I have no idea. But she has an amazing looseness with her materials, that it also comes together to create an image of an incredible discipline and tightness. It's very, it's, it's, it's confounding. It's absolutely confounding. This is a piece by Darren Norman called Inverted Depth. It's a mining sieve, you know, so people would go to rivers and try to find gold and other minerals by taking the sieve and panning the sand and the water through it. He took this to a river in Devon uh, that has an estuary point, an estuary being the point where salt water and fresh water meet. Um, like the Thames is also an estuary. He went to the point where the actual waters meet and took this sieve, which was copper plated, and brought it, brought it there and lowered it to the bottom of the river. And left it there for a week. And then brought it back to the Royal College of Art for his degree show and hung the sieve at the height that the river was deep. Darren's work as you saw in the sieve piece in Inverted Depth, is interested in transitions and change and temporality. This, is, this piece was inspired by a video by Bastian Otter, in which Bastian Otter was holding onto a tree branch, hanging, and the film lasted as long as the artist hung onto the branch. And then when he couldn't hang on anymore, the film ended. 
He was so, Darren Martin was so inspired by that that he created this piece in a kind of an homage, but also the fact that it's a strip tree branch and the hand grips where one would likely hang on to the branch are bronze. So permanently marking that spot where one lasted until one didn't. This is also called Breach by Darren Norman. And what this is, it's a tree branch that also shows where one might possibly have hung on, but it's resin. It is, it is a kind of an impossible thing. It's a cast of a real wooden branch, but it's much lighter and stronger. So it's not really, but it's not really about the strength of the branch. It's really about the strength of the person holding on. In that, in that case, human frailty is the issue. This is the work of Eric Poitvin. He's a French photographer of some renown. And he hasn't really shown his work very much in the United States. He's better known for his very large scale photographs of oak trees, forests, and animals, both living and dead, in great, great detail. And they're usually about two to three meters wide. This is an unusual body of work called the Carré Vert. There are little details of forests capturing depth, but also form and composition in such a way that it's almost painterly. The Carré Vert have very rarely been shown. Uh, as I pointed out, he is very well known for his monumental scale photographs. But these intimate keyhole glimpses into forest life, the life and death of trees and plants, and their co symbiotic coexistence with moss and trees, and spider webs, water, and all different kind of plant life living together. And they're very long exposures. As you can see, there's some wind that's moved some of these branches around. So he stays there for a very long time to get just the right feel for these glimpses.